Alrighty, well, hello there. I hope you're all doing well tonight. Here we are on Friday, September 25th, 2020 at 7.36 p.m. up here in Northeastern Ohio, in Hazy, Northeastern Ohio. <laughs> and we're gonna try things out again testing on the Canon R camera over here with the 800 millimeter lens and the 2x extender and we have our test cam audio recorder our Skywatcher telescope mount on the Ben Road tripod and all that good stuff and I know a few of you liked seeing me last night so I thought I'd try to figure out how to use an autofocus and tracking and all that. I'm not used to doing stuff like that. But anyway. But anyway, let me get situated here so we can do some sky watching. And over here in the south, we have a 70% moon. It looks like it's coming in okay for our hazy sky conditions. And so we went from the 1600 millimeters and now we're at the 5x magnifies zoom and the bottom's looking pretty good there let's stroll around here now, let me change the rate a little bit a little bit slower this is another good phase where we can see some pretty good details of the craters and ridges and everything else up there. But we're just gonna go pretty quickly tonight. Our light beam area and mesa and question mark. <laughs> hey, it's what I call them. I like my terminology better. Number one, I can pronounce it and Number two just makes more sense. It's what they look like. But now let's try it at the 10x. Now this is what I was so missing on the Canon R. Looking at that long streak there in that one crater. That's interesting. Wow, that mountain range there is really something else. All the jagged edges. And if you've been with me for a while, you'll know what I refer to this uh, area as. <laughs> the Titan's Boneyard. And don't ask me why, it's just what I came up with one day. <laughs> anyway, enough of me rambling on about that. Top's looking pretty cool too. And I better scoot over a bit or I'll miss our mesa. There it is. We're a bit too bright. There we go. So we have our Mesa and Light Beam area and the question mark on the same shot. Cool. Alright, there we go. Oh, that is cool. And so I'm looking over on the other camera. I'm waiting on the sirens. My goodness. But anyway, I just looked over on the other camera that has a wide field of view and it's pretty cool. We can see the moon below Saturn and Jupiter off to the right of the ring buddy. And since we're closest to Saturn, we're going to go there next. 
Okay, so while recording in 1080p, this is the 1600 millimeters. That tiny speck there is Saturn. And there it is at the 5x. And at the full 10x that this camera offers. And that is quite cool. And let me get a clip of this and I'll hopefully do a stacking. I'll be right back. So there we are. Now like I said, I don't want to spend too much time on each one of these tonight because because then I'll have too much footage to go through and it'll take me forever and a day to do it and I really wanted to come back out to get Mars. It's so tough for me though as it rises much later than these guys. But anyway, from here, we're going to go take a look-see at Jupiter. Now tonight we have all four of the moon planets over to the left, as we can see there in our overexposed shot. They're so cool to see. And at 10x, we can only get three of the moons in a shot. <laughs> That's cool, though. Okay, there we go. I hope I don't have it too light. But tonight, we do have the great red spot. It's down in the lower right-hand side. About to turn around to the other side. I was so hoping to catch it last night because it would have been in the lower left. But the viewing conditions were just not too good there. Oh man, the mosquitoes are bad tonight. I'm surprised. I was hoping they'd go to bed for the winter. <laughs> Alright, I got some clips at 5x and 10x. And hopefully the bands in the spot show up tonight for me. But you know what, that's going to do it for now. But on the other camera, I am going to show the southeast sky. So we know how poor it is over there. Which is where Mars is going to come up. Oh, and for those who don't know, I keep a list of all the gear I use each night down below in the description box of each video. And since I change out equipment so often, it really helps me to keep track. And I also have links down there too, so. But yeah, I'm really stoked about this setup now. I am so happy. This 800 millimeter lens and that extender, along with the Canon R cameras, mm-hmm. They are a sweet combo. It is a shame that you can't uh, record the 5X and 10X when recording into the camera. But it's really nice to be able to do it externally. Alright, so anyway, that should do it. That'll wrap it up for now. It's now 8, 10 p.m. And like I said, I hope to be back out for Mars. If not, we're going to end it here. <laughs> Alright, say so you all take care. Look how bad the sky is getting over on the wide field of view. Oh my gosh. Looks terrible. I am so surprised the planets are coming out as well as they are. And the moon too. In conditions like these. My goodness. So I hope all of you who are in the fire zones are safe and all your loved ones are too. Alright, let me go get the other camera. There is Mars in the southeast sky. I'll be right back. Alright, you mean to tell me all this time I have not been filming? I think I forgot to hit record. <laughs> oh, that happens way too often. But anyway, this is such a shame 
we can't get Mars in very well tonight. As we can see on the other camera, the uh, sky conditions are so poor. It almost appears that Mars is out of focus, but it's not. I messed around with it and even used the focus assist that Canon has in the R cameras and it's spot on. Drat. <laughs> we have not had much luck with Mars. There's only that one night about, what, two weeks ago? Where I got some really good shots of it. But ever since then, either I've not been able to get back out here in time, or we've had really crappy sky conditions, sort of like now. <laughs> oh well. It was a good try anyway. Besides the haze, it appears to be foggy out tonight. Humidity's kind of high too, so, oh well. Now I have had a few requests for nebulas and galaxies and all those deep sky objects, but as you can see, <laughs> we don't have much chance of even getting the bright planets in. So they're going to have to wait till things clear out here. Now if you do want to see what I've already captured of the nebulas, all you have to do is go to my channel page and up there at the top there's a search and you can just type in nebula and it'll bring up all those that I've already filmed and since I title my stuff pretty accurately you could type in Sirius or Betelgeist or whatever and it should show you all the videos I have of them just in case you were unaware anyway that's going to wrap it up for this Friday night with Mars high up in the southeast sky at 11.22 p.m. up here in northeastern Ohio. He's going to wave goodbye. And so shall I. Bye now.